Hey, welcome back to The Quilted Gardener. This is like the fourth time I've tried to film this and I've just been all over the place. And it became a really long video of me rambling and looking things up. So, um, the first thing is, is we've had two, two winners. I'm just shy of 300 subscribers, so thank you very much. Um, yes, this is what I really look like. I have lost my glasses again. Um, my hair is actually curly. I don't have a, a hat on tonight. I am in the process of moving everything from upstairs, downstairs in my studio. I have a huge studio. I don't know how many square feet. Um, and I just thought it was a real waste that I wasn't using it. And I have so much stuff in my living room that needs to just come down here, get organized. Um, I have all these little storage cubbies around here that I'm not using that will be getting used once I get myself figured out. I think I need to flip a couple of things. Um, and I'm moving my midarm just because I don't like where it's sitting. It's making me claustrophobic. It's too close. Um, and then I have another cutting table area that is kind of a catch-all right now. So it seems like the bigger space you have, the more stuff you clutter up. Um, next thing is... Um, the store. I've not made a definitive decision. I think I was a little rash in the decision I had made because I completely forgot I was going to have full-time help in February when Nick retires. Um, and he suggested that I just cut inventory back and carry it, like I said, the Hoffman Venter text lines. Um, and, you know, the American made lines. And just stick with that. The next thing on my list um, of checking into, I haven't made a decision, is possibly doing a pop-up store um, on the weekends at a place called Southgate Crossing in Elkhart, Indiana. Um, I will be going down there Tuesday to check out spaces, find out, you know, pricing, um, the setup, that kind of thing, because I haven't been there in many, many, many years, and then it closed for a very long time. They completely redid it. It's an Amish barn that is amazing. So... Um, I got an email that they were looking for vendors. It is just, it's it's a drive. Um, I did clinicals there in nursing school um, many years ago. <clears throat> and in the wintertime, it could be three, four hours if I even made it. So I won't be there after probably, you know, Halloween. And then won't go back until like March. Um, just for the fact that I'm not driving that in the wintertime, even though I have a four-wheel drive, um, it's just not going to happen. So, and like I said, it'll be only be like three days a week that I'd be there. They have short hours on Sunday and Saturday, and they're not open on Mondays. So that is, you know, I'm just checking into it. I'm not going to say that I'm going to do it, um, but it is a way for me to move inventory pretty quick. And then the next thing on my agenda is the fat quarter bundles. I have a blue set, a black and gray set, a pink spring set with green, um, and then what I'm calling a grab bag. It's just a little bit of everything. You know, it's not like mixed cottons with batiks or anything like that. Um, I only have a couple of batiks left, and those are actually be, those are going to be rugs at one point. Um, it's all cotton, 100% cotton quilt quilt shop quality. Um, so I'll be getting those together, especially here with the weather getting worse. I mean, we've had so much rain lately. I can't even go outside to finish clearing out my walkway so people can actually walk through there. Um, it's quite the mess. So, and then I have some plants that I still have to transplant because I pulled them and did not get them in the ground in time. So, and then it rained for two days and now it's raining again. And it's only been in the 50s with 30 mile an hour winds, so I don't really want to blow away. Um, so hopefully I will have um, a couple of days to get that stuff done and then I'll be inside. My studio is a mess, so you'll be seeing this, not that. Um, it is an absolute mess. Um, just I have boxes here and there of stuff that I've got to go through that I don't even know what's in those boxes, truthfully. Um, I think it's offcuts that I just packed away. And then my desk will be down here, and I've got to figure out how I'm going to organize that. Um, 
just for the fact that I have a sorting table over there, which is actually my patio table, but it's my sorting table so that when I get, you know, a grouping of pet quarters cut, they go there and then I can pull them as they're ordered and just put the whole thing together. Obviously, there'll be a, a nice little pretty decorative looking fat, border, fat quarter set um, in the photo when they go up for sale. They will not ship that way. They will ship flat because it's easier. Um, I ship in these. So as long as it fits, it ships, you know, kind of like the cat, if I fits, I sits. Um, so I can push it open to get those in. They just won't be all pretty folded and um, tied up in a ribbon. So, um, and then if there's a bigger order, I do have medium sized boxes and I also have Tyvek bags, which I've got to reorder. Um, I'm making myself a list as I'm talking to you guys. Um, because I am really close to being out of those. And it takes about 10 days for them to get here. So, yeah, I'll probably end up moving my embroidery machine somewhere else. Um, and the table that that sits on and then my desk will be there. It's kind of nice. My desk just pops apart and the legs fold up and I can pretty much carry it anywhere. So it's either that or I'm going to have to move my sofa and I really don't know where I'm going to put that. So, um... And I needed a room, you know, room for my Christmas tree. I put my Christmas tree up like the first week of November. I am a Christmas fanatic, but it takes me forever to decorate my Christmas tree. So it will be in a different area this year. It'll be in the far back corner of my living room. It's normally in front of the window, but my sofa's over there now. Um, so, and I think I'm going to go kind of minimal on my tree this year, not all out with everything that I normally do. I'm praying that my lights work this year and I don't have to replace any. Um, and I don't decorate outside because I'm not walking out there and freezing my ass off to pull the stuff down. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then, you know, I, I've got some tutorials planned. I'm going to do the um, Christmas tree panel with the lights in it. I ordered the fairy lights. They came in like the next day. I got them on Amazon for $2.99 for a set of 20 that are battery operated with an on-off switch. Um, there are only three, technically two, videos that I have found on YouTube that show you how to insert those lights. Um, but I have to bring my other singer that is upstairs down here because my two that are down here do not have an eyelet hole on them. Um, and my singer upstairs does. I'm just hoping it's big enough. So I'm actually going to, once I get, I got two orders left to finish, I'm going to be cutting the panel, the backing, the batting, um, doing my outline and all that stuff, and then I'll mark where I want my lights, and I'll sh that's when I'll start videoing the tutorial because you, I mean, you know how to outline a Christmas tree on a panel, um, so I'll you know walk through the steps of doing that. I did see one video, and it was actually Missouri Star, and I was quite taken aback by how they did the whole inserts. Um, it was very messy, which is not normal for them, but it was a video that was many years ago. That panel has been, you know, out of uh, production for quite a while. Um, but I was quite surprised that they did not use the um, eyelet hole on the machine because she and I have the same machine um, even back then. So um, they just upgraded that machine a little bit. So I was quite surprised by that. The other one is this weird little racetrack thing. And I don't know why it had lights on it. <coughs> I didn't watch it. Because it was like an hour and a half long. Um, I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, someone didn't know how to edit. So, um, that's on my list. A sewing, you know, paintbrush art caddy. Um, that's really simple is on my list to do here in the next couple weeks. Um, the insulated casserole carrier was on my list to do. Of course, I still have to finish the quilt as you go in a row. Um, that's all that I have on my list right now. So one, two, three, four tutorials that will take me through November. December, I'm not going to say, um, what I'm going to do because one of my little fuzzballs just showed up down here and he knows he's not supposed to be down here. 
Um, as long as he stays on this side, I'm good. You need to go back upstairs. Um, so, I'll do a few videos, you know, while I'm out in the greenhouse doing stuff. And not a whole lot, because I'm not going to start actually starting my seedlings until March. Um, we don't plant here in Michigan until the end of May. So... I do have some propagations to do, but y'all know how to propagate, so. Um, now I'll do some, you know, obviously some updates of what's going on inside the greenhouse. Um, I still have a little bit of floor stones to go in. My potting table came in the other day, and I actually completely forgot until just now that it was out in the garage. Um, so I have to put that together. Um, and then... And I've got to get these things quilted. These are actually Christmas presents that are hanging out behind me. And then I have two baby quilts over here that have to be done and shipped and received by December 4th. So they may just get um, basic quilting on them. Um, so, and then, you know, I'm just not going to show you my studio because it's embarrassing. It's a mess. Um... So that's about it, you know. I've you know dealing with the kitchen fiasco, which I was not planning on. Um, I did get sick to my stomach for a couple of days, but I ate the yogurt I made, and I was perfectly fine the next day. It's really weird. So, not a whole lot's been going on. I did get behind on orders. I apologize to that. Um, the new Hoffman line, the digital Dragonfly, is not shipped yet. Should be shipping in about ten more days, from what they told me on Friday. Um, so as soon as that arrives, I'll be shipping that out. Um, there is no panel that goes with that line, which I found very odd. So, um, I think that's about it. i got to find the remote to my camera. I have no idea where I put it when I brought it in three weeks ago. Um, hopefully I didn't lose it or it went through the wash or whatever. I don't think it did. I thought it was attached to my camera, but it's not. Um, it kind of sucks because I have to reach forward to turn things off and on, and I can't zoom or anything like that right now without manually reaching behind the camera to do it. So um, just be prepared. This is what you're going to be seeing because, I mean, I really don't wear a hat that whole lot, you know, a whole lot in the house. It's kind of like wearing sunglasses. What's the point? Um, and I just don't you know, gussy myself up, I guess, when I'm at home, because I don't go anywhere. Um, this is it. So I'm going to be, you know, painting a couple walls in here. I've been saying that forever. The paint's upstairs. been there for, I think, almost a year. So I need to get that done. And then I'm going to start flying. I do have to figure out what I'm going to do with this. Ce My ceiling is not finished, and it really bothers me for some reason. Um, I'm thinking maybe if I just paint it white, it won't be so bad. Um, right now, it's just, it's wood eye beams and it bugs me big time. Don't know why, it just does. So there's a lot of little things down here I need to get finished, like my storage area under the staircase needs to be done, and I need to finish painting the staircase. Um, so I'll be working on little projects like that down here. Maybe I'll bring you along, maybe I won't, because I mean... It's kind of like watching paint dry on a wall when somebody's painting. So, um, that's it for now. Um, I will be uploading again sometime this week. Um, it's so nice not having to have so many doctor's appointments in a week or a month or whatever. I don't go back to the doctor, either doctor, until November. I just went to the cardiologist. Things look good. I am being referred over to the CHF clinic, but it's for a medication um, to help reduce my fluid retention so that I can reduce the amount of Lasix I'm on because that's causing my potassium to be really low to where I'm actually having to take a potassium supplement and I don't like it. Um, so hopefully that gets taken care of here in the next few days. It's nothing huge. It's just I retain fluid. Once you've been on Lasix for so long, you kind of really can't go off of it. Um, your body just doesn't get rid of the fluid like it's supposed to. So otherwise, it was a great checkup, um, really long hour and a half. So, went through tons of stuff with me, all of my options, things like that. So, 
I know where I'm headed. Um, you know, pretty much it's, you know, change your diet, change your lifestyle, change your activity level, get more sleep, yada, yada, yada. Believe me, I would sleep more if I could. Um, I have lupus insomnia and it sucks. So those of you who know what I'm talking about, yeah. Um, so yeah, this will be getting not edited. I'm just going to straight upload from when I turn the camera off. Um, it will take a little bit. So until next time, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, leave me any comments down below if you'd like. And create well. See you next time. Bye.